is the video. Let's jump right in. This is the last, the final day. Uh, I did a recording previously and I was trying to figure out like, why is my light team not doing enough damage? And I had a Garambo. <laughs> Gabe. So that would probably, that'd probably be why. So hopefully, uh, that will get us back to damage I should be doing. Oh my God. Run through here real quick. Um, we had smooth runs last time, but that video will probably never go anywhere just because um, we have no gear. I put the Garambo on Gabe because I was doing a water um, co-op with her. And whatever. And when I was flipping through, like, the bow looks pretty similar to the Garambo. Alright, let's get into it. We don't use the mint. This one. It's 100 million. I don't think they're going to do 20 million. To get down to 80, they might, I don't know. They'll probably do 10, I'll probably do 10. And so my statue should work the entire time. It's, uh, there's two reasons why I want to hit this boss first. Uh, sometimes I forget, but... Ooh, I'm lucky I got the weapons club and get interrupted. If you get interrupted on this boss, it throws off your timing and the whole thing, so... Uh, but anyways... The uh, reason I want to do this boss first because if I am going to do a reset, it's most likely going to be on this boss. For example, getting your, your timing messed up with your weapons skills interrupted. But, uh, let's do Veronica, let's do Eleanor, let's do me. Weapons coaching skill. Let's see, yeah, this, this is the one that would be. Uh, maybe he, like, kills somebody with Spirit Bomb or something. They need to reset, so we want to do this guy. So we get close to Veronica because she does a damage buff. If you want to stand close to get that one because it's like based on the range location. I did press the weapon skill, but I don't think I got it, so we probably lost a little bit of damage there. Something would be like, yeah, just under 10 mil. If, uh, there's a couple times where I had to kind of like pause my weapon skill to not get interrupted by his attacks. And, uh, so that's what got us under 10, so we're doing a lot better. So, man, I lost 2 million damage just from uh, yesterday. Gap having the wrong bow because I was doing better, like 1.5 million. Um, Man, something. So we got our damage in there before he dropped under 80, which is nice. And I'm gonna go over here to this team. We do need to put a Minotaur. They get weapons go regen. Make sure we get the Earth one. Get the statues on everybody. Set, which is um, 80 million. We are, of course, working on that last statue. I'm just gonna leave that there. Fine. Having uh, all the statues ready to go would be nice because I wanted to pick and choose. Okay, who gets the gear? Does Tinia do more? Does uh, Mariel do more? No, that's all right. All right, let's jump on in. <clears throat> but this raid, this raid went by really quick. I don't know if it's because I had a lot of stuff going on in real life or whatnot, but it definitely didn't feel like it was two weeks long. Um, we are working on Orca now because we need to run our water team next time. So we'll do that. Sometimes the cadence, the timing of the ferry, is such that I can get my weapon skill off here. But we didn't have that one though. And you can interrupt her doing that, which is quite nice. We're going to get through this real quick. And then as soon as we get that airborne up, we'll put the weapon skill there. That's pretty much all I gotta do. Just get your timings right so the ferry doesn't interrupt you and you get full weapon skills on her. So I'm able to interrupt this. That's very nice. Look at me. I'm happy. Stretch out the airborne and then sprint through all of this to get back to airborne when your weapon skill is up, just like that. And if we just keep doing what we're supposed to be doing, we can hopefully get to the middle. Go up a little bit under, man. I don't know if I'm gonna get it. I got some of that weapon skill in there. Again, probably just like right under 10 mil. What is with it tonight? Where's my damage? Mm. I think the highest I've done with him on the level 83 boss has been 12 million. I did it once, and I have not been able to get back to it. And then over here. Pretty happy with this team, they have improved, is definitely 
and assets to the team. We are putting statues on my MLB heroes. Kana is not MLB because I do think she is going to get replaced um, by some sort of ranged hero in the future, but I'm happy to have her now. I don't really mind investing in her, even if she is going to get replaced for the ranged basic team. I feel like she's going to sit around for a while and but she's basically like the Arabelle. It's like you know that she's going to get replaced eventually, but for the time being, she's doing a good job. This Arabelle is ranged for dark, and you really want to do melee dark here that fits in that meta. But there we go. So Khan goes first, then we go to Nari, and then Eva, then Future Nari. Okay. Let's get it. Let's get it. I kind of said on the last day that I didn't break 10 million on those last heroes, but it's all good. Um, we did like 8.5 million on light team. I was like, what in the heck is going on? Why is my light team doing that? Because I have the wrong weapon on Gabe. Shows you how important Gabe is. Here we go. Kana, Nari. I get my weapon still in there. Get you nine, eight. I do not hold the weapon skill on this boss, I've tried it before, so I can interrupt this attack right here, and it just didn't didn't seem worth it. Getting stuck with all that kind of lame, getting all those knockbacks, I usually can dodge that better, but not today. That's all good. I've done a bunch of testing where it's like, how much damage do I lose if I get, um, if I can interrupt it, if I can't interrupt it, but sometimes the timing works out where you will just interrupt it without holding it. Cut, no chain, and there you go. What was that like? 10-5, 10-4? Nah, I wasn't watching it. 10-7. All right. So on average, um, this will bring our average up. So I think we did over 30 tonight total. Not too bad. I definitely had some nights where I'd score less. I get like some eight millions out of the teams that should be should have done 10 the entire raid, but not too bad. Nothing to complain about. Um, let's go look at rankings. We've been flip-flopping between 3 and 4, but it's nice to see improvements. Um, some other guilds, I think they lost some players, so it's not good, but we have, we've definitely seen some improvement. And as far as rewards, as long as we're up in the 5 bracket, I'm pretty happy about that. And we're definitely safe, we're going to be... Uh, there's a good gap between us and 6, so I'm not worried about that, that's good. And then up here, our damage has not added in yet, so the 30 we did tonight is going to add, it's going to bring us over 400 million dollars. Uh, we'll probably be around 10% or so. Oh, well, actually, one of my attacks registered and updated. Because it, it ticks like every 10 minutes it'll update and update. So you must have done the first attack before it tick. So, okay, so only add 2 million to this. So we're going to be right under 400 million. It would be nice to break 400 million just for arbitrary numbers and stuff. But it's okay. That's a sub, boys. There you go. Another raid. Dr. I guess we're probably gonna have like meteor farming coming up after this, which that is okay. Put my team back together. This one I've been running for for Coliseum. I don't really feel like it's that much to report. We got the princess statue on her. Just gonna put these statues back. I'm trying to put my best sharpshooter on her. Another statue over here. I don't know if statue makes sense. Um, I'm kind of thinking about once I finish that last statue, what I want to do. Uh, the answer is I just want to get everything. But um, if I had options to just get everything, do everything. Um, I've got a four-star Healy Boy statue thing. I would like to finish this, but you know, I'm not really. The main thing this would help me in was would probably be um, orbital lift which I'm not going to worry about until we get another level cap increase to like 85 or 86, whatever it's going to be. So that's where this would make the most sense there. It's, it's four stars. Actually, no, it's, it's five stars. I, don't know. I thought this was four stars. Holy crap, I five star it? Really? <laughs> let's, go, let's go look at our inventory. Um, 
Oh yeah, so I guess it did five star that. Okay, cool. Um, I, but as far as leveling up, you just get more attack, and then um, since that attack would be on um, the, the person that's wearing, it's going to be a healer, and nine nine times out of ten, it's going to be um, Maya as the healer. So her getting a little bit extra damage doesn't really matter that much. For some reason, I was thinking my healing statue was. Uh, Four stars. So yeah, it's done. Just these levels. But like I said, just leveling up to only a few percent attack, which not the most important thing in the world. So that could be neat. I would definitely like to finish this, but I think I need three more statues of bravery to get to five stars. Yeah, so it's incredible. And then, of course, the last thing you don't see here is the statue, um, the, the, sh the invader ship. I definitely should have went for an invader ship. Um, before going for where is it? Before going for um, a fourth statue, but whatever. I just got tired of trying to figure out. Okay, who gets the third statue and who has to get something else? And then, then when I have four statues, I can just throw a statue on everybody for raids. But um, I need to focus and get one of these because if I can just get one of these, then when I'm attacking a boss that's not over the the 40%. That'd be nice. And, like, you don't need to get one of these on every single hero on your raid team. If you just get it on the leader, it's usually good to go. And then you put, like, a, the, the other ones. You put the 20%, which are super easy to get on everybody else. But this is, like, just end game grinding for that extra little bit. For any newer players, honestly, I would suggest investing heavily in these things. Brings us times. You know, throw that on your Throw that on your And then, Yeah. Orbital lift. But orbital lift doesn't really matter. Whether your max orbital lift is 300 or 600, it doesn't really matter. But getting this, so you just get this four star Tony. And those are just so easy. So that would be my recommendation: is just get the blue ones, get a bunch of them, get four of each of them, and then just chill and don't worry about much at all. But, if you aren't going to it. And then on my collections, we're doing really well on collections. We're missing like 3% out of this. There's two uh, cosmetic collections. And then like, they've added some more ones. So we'll eventually go through that. I've got some mileage, but I try to keep on my pitch until I really have to. So, this is for MK2, the dark range tier rival. Hopefully we'll get that. And we just released Ana, uh, which is over percent down here. Hopefully over the holidays, I'm pretty sure that these old Christmas things are going to come back. Because there was a time where I wasn't worried about uh, costumes, but they don't bring these things back. This has been gone for a year. This has been gone for a year. Yeah. To get these things. So hopefully Christmas will come back with that, and then New Year's will come back with that, and I can get these. And then, and then on any new things, any new costume collections, I'm just going to get them with the free-to-play gems that you get. And then for Hero Collection, I think there's like... 13 or 15 heroes which means it's like 7.5% of attack I'm missing from hero collections like Lynn for example we need to 5 star her